<laughs> Kevin? Kevin, yeah, Martha's here. She wants to give you a kiss. Shut up, Ma. I'm I'm with my friends. <sighs> Hi, Mrs. Hi, Mrs. Krabappelwitz. What are you doing down there? That's so important. Well, you see, it's well. Let's to, to put it simply, Ma. It's uh, it's time for Talking Nerdy, the nerdy talk show where I ask my guests to talk nerdy to me. Oh my. You are listening to WLMC, Landmark College Radio out of Putney, Vermont. And that means, because it's 8 o'clock-ish, you are listening to Talking Nerdy, that nerdy talk show where I ask my lovely, lovely guests to uh, talk nerdy to me. Thank you for tuning in on WLMC, Landmark College Radio. Thank you for tuning in on BCTV. And thank you for tuning in on Twitch. Twitch? We never did Twitch before. Why Twitch now? Well, I'll tell you. In a moment, after I introduce my lovely, lovely guests, who, you know, talk nerdy with me. <laughs> I am joined by Stephanie. Hello. And Teddy. Hello. And Lizzie. Hello. And we're here to talk nerdy to you. Now, what is talking nerdy? Well, talking nerdy is the nerdy talk show where we talk nerdy. I think I've explained this a few times. Basically, we nerds sit here, and we are, in fact, in a basement, just in case you were wondering, and uh, talk shop, because, because I can. And because I want to. Anyway, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Oh, yes, explaining why we switched to Twitch. Because YouTube streaming has gone downhill. Stability. Stability, yeah. Twitch is dedicated for streaming. And uh, YouTube is not. YouTube actually doesn't support their streaming platforms. And I've been watching a lot more Twitch streams. And I've been very happy with it. So, I... uh, decided to uh, go with it and see how it goes and this way we have video feed for the first time on a stream we have video feed Woo! yay the folks at home. <laughs> Are you? Okay. anyway yay. so <laughs> <laughs> it's been a few weeks since we've done talking nerdy <laughs> oh my god the delay is so bad <laughs> I just watched myself wave in the stream it's really weird it's well, and yeah, I don't know if it's my connection, but it keeps No, no, buffering. Twitch automatically has a delay. So did YouTube, but we just couldn't see it. Yeah, That's oh. what's throwing you off, I bet. You know, seeing so. a buffer, t- or, yeah, buffer too. Yeah, pretty much. Every day in <laughs> buffer. <laughs> buffer. I'm watching buffer, you go like buffer, this. Buffer, buffer, buffer. <laughs> yeah, no, the connection isn't great in the station. Oh, I just saw the waves. <laughs> we did wave to the camera. Anyway, lots happened in the two weeks that we were off. Yeah, we were off for two weeks uh, because I was ill. And because I had a conference in New York for radio, which I can talk about, but, eh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see what that happens. That's a little boring even yeah. for a nerdy show. Mm. Maybe he did nerdy things. I di- I actually Are you kidding? Did. He went to a conference did, about radio. That's a definition of nerdy. That's like <laughs> going to a, to a model train convention, which yeah, I've also well, done, which was also very nerdy. I bet you it was. It was awesome. Oh, yeah? Highly recommend. It was a lot of fun. Even if you only have a cursory interest, it's fun just to go and see all the cool stuff people build, like the functioning, um, uh, what what do you call them? Um, Trace models? Dioramas? uh, I mean, yes, but no, the things, the bridges that go up and down, draw bridges. (laughs) Like, people have, like, functioning, like, gigantic functioning draw bridges for their trains. You know, mm. like models of gigantic real ones. Sweet. Yeah, it's cool. That is really cool, actually. I went yeah. to a boat convention for, like, legit boats, and it was still fun. I mean, really, any kind of convention where people are just genuinely enthusiastic about what they do yeah. is going to be a I lot mean, of fun. They had to be. They were trying to sell them. But, like, I went into a boat that was the size of a mansion. Who needs that kind of boat? People that need a mansion. Well, imagine for a second that you wanted a mansion, but you wanted it to float so that you wouldn't have to pick one spot to keep it. Fair enough. (laughs) And imagine that you wanted to live on your boat. Yeah, that's that's true. I mean, if I could live on a boat full time, uh, like conveniently, yeah, I would. I wouldn't. We're in Vermont. There's not really. it, it, It wouldn't be convenient. No, it wouldn't. I mean, you could live in a boat. I just think it'd be a little weird. Mm, depends on where I you mean, were. If you're in the it lake depends region. how big the boat is, I guess. Yeah. 
Anyway, <laughs> and not talking about boats or trains, even though they are pretty cool. Um, what we came to talk about is the stuff that we were missing the past couple weeks because we didn't do Talking Nerdy because I was sick in the night of convention. So, we missed quite a lot, including a huge announcement, which we'll get to. We'll get to it. I'm sure you all have an inkling as to what it is. <laughs> but... Did Timmy fall down the well again? Yes, but we fixed it. And then we put a grate on the well, so maybe he won't fall in this time. But how will we get the bucket out? Eh, there's a trap door. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, no. Um, there's a few things I wanted to talk about. But you know what? Let's get to the big announcement first. I can't wait. Pokemon has announced its eighth generation games, Pokemon Sword and Shield. And boy, do they look good. Oh, man, they look so good. Yeah. Like, whoo. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, no. So, there are the only new Pokemon we've actually seen so far are the starters. The starters. Grookey is the grass type, and it's a monkey. It's adorable. It's adorable. Best one, in my opinion. There's Score Bunny, which is the fire type, which I... I am nervous. Me too. Me too. And then there's Sobble, which is a water chameleon, which also looks cute. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, Sobble is my second favorite. Yeah. So far. We'll have to see what the third gener- the I'm third just, evolution is. I'm just I'm so like. suspicious of Scorbunny. I do not want another fighting type. Uh yeah, it looks like a fighting fire type. I'm in denial about that. Oh yeah? Yes. I des I any any other type, mm-hmm. even if it's normal. Yeah. Even if they just make it a pure fire type. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I will be okay with that. Yeah. Just I don't would, make it too. fighting again. I a hundred percent agree. Um why don't the people in the Twitch chat give us their fee- their thoughts on, you know, what they uh, what they want for their starter based on what we've seen so far. The other thing that's really cool is that it the the region that it's going to take place in. Uh, what was it called again? Um, I don't know. I can't remember the name of it. Isn't uh, it based off of like It's based off of the UK. Yeah. Off of England, Scotland, uh, Wales probably a little bit. And it looks really, really, really cool. Yeah. It's got like a sort of steampunky vibe to it a little bit. Yay. But uh, I don't I don't know. So, yeah, we'll see. I cannot wait to hear more and more and more about it. But it did look really, really beautiful. It did. It looks... Well, I hope they bring back walking Pokemon, too, but I'm not going to hold my breath. <laughs> yeah. What do you guys think? Any? Did you guys see the trailer for the new Pokemon games yet? Mm-mm. Woo, Pokemon. Yeah, you didn't see it, did you? <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep. Your I got new cars, that. but that's a, about it. <laughs> yeah. I think you need to move closer to your microphone. Oh, yeah, sorry. That's yeah, all right. We want Woo, the Pokemon. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> they heard that. Um, but I think because it's an even number generation, I think you might know what that means. Um. There's a possibility of a new evolution. <gasps> Yep. What, what was that now? Please make it flying. Well, we, we can talk about this. This is one of the things I wanted to bring up. Is if there is a new evolution, which I believe there's a good chance of. Like, really good chance of. Um, what What is it going to be? What type? Realistically, I think it will be like rock or ground. I, I had I had I talked with my wife about this and we actually narrowed it down I think to what we believe it could possibly be. Now I can tell you what it's not going to be. It's not going to be normal type. It's not going to be poison type. It's not going to be ghost type, and it's not going to be dragon type. I can tell you that for certain. Dragon type is too you know they keep those pretty rare on purpose. It's not going to be poison type because that doesn't fit the image of Eevee. And ghost type also would be really. Disconcerting if yeah, there since, was a ghost type Eevee. Since the whole point of Eevee is that it adapts to its environment. Right. It doesn't. It, so. Ghosts, ghosts would imply a certain amount of lack of life. A and failure to adapt. Yeah. A failure to adapt, yeah. Um, and normal, they're not just going to evolve Eevee into another normal type. That's never been Eevee's thing. Eevee's mega evolution. <laughs> <laughs> if they had a mega evolving Eevee, I would love it. Mega evolution? Mega evolutions. Megavolution? Like <laughs> Megavolution, sure. Close enough. Very close. Um, so, the things that I think it could possibly be, 
steel, rock, ground, or flying. I, oh, a oh, fly I one want it to cool. be flying. I want a pure flying type. There's only one. They need more. Yeah. I don't disagree with you, and I think Eevee is a perfect thing to do. I would think that uh, it lives in either the like the plains where it's advantageous to fly above things. Or what we discussed earlier. Is it lives in the mountains because getting from one mountain to the other mountain is difficult. No, what fly. we discussed earlier is you just throw it off a cliff and then it adapts to fly. Or, or it adapts to be a ghost well, type. I was going to say, can you th- think about... <laughs> Just the That's process so and, <laughs> that a species must go through in order to go from not flying to Fly. flying. Because every flying Pokemon, species had to invalid. do that at some point. In Pokemon, that argument is invalid. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> some things gain the flying type, like Magikarp evolves into Gyarados. Gyarados is a flying type in addition to being a water type. How? We don't know. But it does. Well, they're flying fish, so that's not the craziest we thing in the world. We actually don't have a flying fish Pokemon, believe it or not. I think we should. But, um, whatever. Stop the pen. But, so, out of all those, I think that it's probably going to be a... I really want it to be flying type. I do, too. Oh, my gosh. I want a pure flying type. You don't understand how much. I, I agree. I, I want really, a pure flying. really want one. Like, I think they missed they miss the chance with the Alola region to have more pure flying types. They did. They did. Um, unfortunately, what I think is that... I don't know. It's, it's hard because... I don't... I don't know how to word this. I lost my train of thought. <laughs> It's just weird that they haven't done it yet. Yeah, I mean the only the only pure flying type is uh, I don't know how to say it. Torna- tornadoes. Uh, tornadoes. Tornadoes. Yep, and it's that's legendary. the only one, and it sucks. I know, I know. Um, they, I think because England had a a lot of coal in it in its history, <laughs> you know, they had the Industrial Revolution. I think they've got plenty of. Um, grounds to do a steel type or a rock type. Oh, maybe Scorbunny will be a steel type. That'd that be, that, that would, would be, be really cool, actually. Yeah. I would really like that. Yeah. What if it was fire steel, grass fairy, like I want for Grookey, and <laughs> then um, water... Ghost? Dark. Dark? No, they've already done water dark. Maybe water fighting? I don't know. Eh, uh, Sobble doesn't seem like a fighting type. <laughs> Maybe it becomes braver as it uh, as it evolves. Yeah, but it's also camouflage. I Although know. I guess it could... Uh, but there's already a ninja water yeah, type. Yeah, ninja. I don't know. Mm. They're not above redoing things like that, so... I, yeah, that's true. The two, like, <laughs> fighting monkey fire types. Plus, there's already a fighting bunny type Pokemon. Uh, only on a Mega Evolution, though. Yeah, but still. I I know. I know. I know. Maybe Water Ghost. That'd be kind of cool, but they have they just did a camouflaging Pokemon last generation with um, Decidueye, so... I don't know. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. Or maybe it could be Ground. It could be. I think we're likely to get um, Rock, Ground, or Steel, because I just from, I'm just guessing. If we get one at all. I don't know. Twitch chat, you let us know. BCTV, if you want to tweet me, at DJ for us, WLMC, please do and let me know your thoughts if you have any idea what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I can't promise that they do, but I would like to think they do. Anyway, moving on. Is there anything that you guys would like to bring up in this conversation? Because we're kind of alienating you with our Poke Talk, and we apologize <laughs> for that. Oh, well, that's loud. <laughs> I am fully updated on my roommate as a cat now. Oh, my word. We have to talk about that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Teddy. Cowboy Bebop continues to be on Hulu. That, that is true. I've never seen it. Oh, I haven't so either. good. And, like, uh. I, I've probably seen the episodes of it, but like, I don't... It has a super like, intelligent in corgi the... named Ayn. Yes. Ayn. I thought that's, that would be important that's, information to share. That is very important information. So why don't you talk about Cowboy Bebop? Why does it appeal to you, who is um, not somebody who generally enjoys anime? It's pretty. <laughs> it's pretty. It is pretty. It's 
So between being deaf and dyslexic, I have a hard time with a lot of... The, the subtitles. Well, I have a hard time understanding shows to begin with, in whatever language they're in. Yep. Mm -hmm. So a lot of times there's a pretty significant language barrier, and if there's a cultural barrier, that makes it even harder for me. Right. Obviously. Mm -hmm. um, I, with Cowboy Bebop, I don't know what it is about it. I don't particularly have an issue understanding it. It's easy for me to get into, and so, you know, I enjoy it. That's awesome. Mm hmm. I, I think that's a wonderful thing. Um, but also, it's just, you know, bounty hunters in space. That's fun. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that is pretty I mean, fun. It's not hard to understand. It's no. a pretty simple premise. Yeah, no, it absolutely is. Um, so, yeah, no. So you would highly recommend it. So Oh, yeah, no, it's people fantastic. People at home, if you're not um, anime watchers, he isn't either, but he recommends it, so definitely check it out. Uh, there's, <laughs> uh, like bunch of seasons of it and also a tv show not a tv show a yes there's a bunch of seasons of the tv show and also a movie right yes and it's all excellent because mm -hmm. the movie is you know more of the same of a tv show yes so. yes it's not like one of those the movie's crap but tv show is good it's all good yeah well i'm glad to hear <laughs> that it is on my list to watch believe it or not i just yeah I am a busy, busy human being. I'm a busy, busy, uh, a busy nerd. Going around. I don't watch as much anime as I used to. I mainly play more video games. I found that lately as well because it's easier to get in to get and get out of a game. But like when I sit down to watch a show, I want to watch that show. I want to like sit down and enjoy myself. In I show. just I don't feel like becoming emotionally invested in a show right now. I understand. I really, really do. Well, I think that's one of the strengths of my roommate as a cat, no? Yeah. Like, yeah. you can get emotionally invested, but it's a cat. And you're already emo emotionally invested in cats. Like, yeah. Uh -huh. Come on, who isn't? Yeah. Yeah, it's true. And you can't tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> because I'm not. No, and Cats not. are wonderful. They are. You should be liking cats. Mm-hmm. Like, if you're deathly allergic, like, stay away from them, but still like them. Like, <laughs> I'm allergic. But I still like them. <laughs> I am too. I still play with cats. I admire them from afar. And then sometimes I deal with my allergies and no, just pet them. No, much. It, it says something about cats that we humans, even if we're allergic to them, like myself and Stephanie, we will still go up to them and play with them. Well, kitty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, like my old school had cats, and I don't recommend this, but I would pet them and I would get an allergy attack and then I would get to be sent home. Win-win. <laughs> 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 they got to see me watching the most recent episode of earlier. my roommate is a cat. Oh my word! So the premise of my roommate is a cat. I don't know if I've talked about this on the show before. You have. Mm -hmm. I don't care. I'll talk about it. it again. Okay. <laughs> so the idea is this writer um, is a really antisocial, introverted kind of guy. He, he spends all his time at home, only goes out when absolutely necessary. He can't. Has things people. delivered when they when he can't, and uh, yeah, but. One day he's going to visit the grave of his parents, and he uh, comes across a cat when it eats the offering that uh, that he puts out for his parents. It was sushi. It was it Aww. was sashimi, I believe, uh, some sort of thing. And so he, through events, brings uh, brings the cat home. Yeah, because it gave him inspiration. It gave him inspiration to write a novel, which is turns out to be one of his best selling. So, he it is the rest of the anime is about his life learning how to be people. a cat owner and, and how to people. Yeah, and how to people and the cat is learning how to be not a stray cat and be a household cat dealing with people. So the first half of the episode is usually through the, the Subaru, the man Subaru's eyes. Yeah, and then the second half is through Haru, the cat's eyes. And she's just so cute and yeah, she's like, I know. although in the most recent episode, she was a little bit of a... Mm, she's kind of ornery. She was very ornery. She was a very wild kitty. She likes food. She well, does she like mad. food. Yeah. She was mad. She was, but she didn't understand why. But no spoilers, no spoilers. Not that you can really... I mean, yeah, you can spoil it, but like, don't. It's such <laughs> a good show. Like, honestly, anybody can watch this show and just love it because, yes, they can. It's just that good of a show. Yeah, it's, like, I wasn't going to watch it at first, but 
I don't remember why, but for some reason, it turned up in my recommended. Yeah. I was just like, oh, this is the thing Alex was talking about. So I clicked on it immediately. (laughs) Fell in love. Oh, my word, right? It was like instant, instant fall in love. And like, I'm sad that it's only going to have 12 episodes. Like, I hope they have season two. Yes, please have season two. It should just be like, you know how they have endless shonen stuff? Things like that. And yeah. the shonen, like One Piece is endless. Fairy tale was, it actually had an end. Naruto, Bleach, Bleach, stuff like that. They should just be constant. My roommate is a cat. Yes. I don't care. They could just start animating Haru walking around and I'd watch it. I would watch <laughs> that all day, every day. Because, yeah, of course I would. Just, why wouldn't I? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it's such a good show. It is. It is. Oh. You know, the other, I, I just started watching another show last night. I was kind of dozing off. I was like, ah, I really feel like not watching YouTube. I'm not really into watching some streams right now. I'm going to watch another anime. And so I just started watching Kaguya-sama Love is War. It, they, they say it's like the, ne- the next, you know, romantic comedy of the season, whatever. However, the deal with this one is smart. the two main characters, like, are in love with each other, but refuse to admit it. <laughs> And because they refuse to admit it, they want the other to admit it first. Now, here's the thing. They're both stubborn and extremely intelligent. So they basically wage mental war with each other, trying to get the other one to admit that they love them. But they won't break, and they haven't broken so far. (laughs) And it's just, just so funny. And these two serious, like, intellectual characters going at it. And then there's Chica. And Chica is the secretary. They're in the student council, by the way. And Chica is the secretary. And Chica is the comic relief character of comic relief characters. <laughs> really? Like, if there's tension, she breaks it. If one of them is about to get, like, overwhelming victory over the other and something, like, positive is going to happen, you know, for their side, Chica ruins it. <laughs> Just somehow, Chica ruins it. Is she your favorite character? She is my favorite character. Like, <laughs> oh, my word, she's a hoot and a half. Like, oh, my word. And, I, I like, I didn't really love the show at first, but I kept watching because it was entertaining enough. And, oh, my word, I'm so glad I did. Just, oh, my word, so glad. I was just thinking, like, this thought just occurred in my head. Do animes have, like, crossovers with other animes? Uh, yes, occasionally they do. Because I know cartoons do that. Yep, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Have you ever had, like, one where it's, like, What's up? What are you doing, Teddy? <laughs> Offering her another comfier care. Oh. Uh, well. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. She's adaptable. <laughs> yes. She's like an Eevee. Yay. <laughs> so what were you saying, Stephanie? <laughs> uh, crossovers. Yes. There are crossovers. Um, uh, do you have one that particularly sticks out in your head? I've seen mm, a couple. The one that sticks out in my head is the Fairy Tale Rave Master crossover. And they did that because Hiro Mashima created both Rave Master and Fairy Tale. Rave Master was his first work. Fairy Tale is his second work. So I know what Fairy Tale is. Rave Master is is just another manga story uh, by Hiro Mashima that got adapted into an anime. It only got fifty two episodes, um, where they like the last bit of the episode was just really really rushed. Uh, the the story I should say. So it wasn't as good as Fairy Tale. You know? Mm-hmm. But it was still good. Um, Plu is still in it, by the way. Plu actually originated in Groove Master. <laughs> so. Anyway, sorry. Groove Master Rave or Rave Master. Same, same story. Uh. Um, but anyway. Uh, so I've seen that. And they're usually not like full-blown series. They're like an OVA or something. Oh. Yeah. What does OVA stand for? I think it's Original Video Animation. So, oh, okay, that makes sense. I could be wrong. Uh, I'll just look it up real quick. The power of Google. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Original <laughs> animation. Uh, yeah. Original, I was right, actually. Original video animation. They're usually not aired on TV, which means they're usually a little bit more risque. They can get away with more because they don't go on public television. Oh, yeah. Have you ever seen season zero of Yu-Gi-Oh? No. no. It is... Is it an OVA? 
Uh, yeah, I think it is. It's very dark. Is it very dark? <laughs> you know, I've heard that it's very dark. They don't. It's not even focused on the game. It's like, yeah, it's very, it's very close to the manga, from what I know. I've only read like the first volume of the manga, but it's very different from like the anime. Ah. It's. Like they still have the card game, but it's but. it's not like the focus. Okay. It might become the focus. I only like I said I only read the first like volume, but it's very it's more dark. <laughs> so I was scrolling Facebook not that long ago. Sure, sure. And came across an ad for little cups that are cat paws that include the toe beans on the bottom. <laughs> Are they non-slip toe beans? No. Oh. Well, they're just really That's cute. Okay. Is it called bubbly, yeah, okay. bubbly cat paw mug? Huh. And you can get them on Amazon, apparently. That's a missed opportunity to have them being, like, silicon non-slip. Mm-hmm. Because then, like, your cup wouldn't accidentally get slid around and knocked over. And they're glass. Heck, little silicon oh, they're glass. Cups. Mm-hmm. Are you going to get one that's like Haru? Uh, um, no. I don't think they make them in that style. <gasps> no. What? That's yeah. too bad. Yeah. Anyway. But yeah. Uh, by the way, I looked up the uh, the new region name for Pokemon. Yeah. It had been bugging me. <laughs> it's called Galar. Galar. G A L A R. Galar. Galar. Oh, uh, welcome to Galar. Uh, I think something like that. <laughs> <laughs> was that your British accent? Oh, it was really over the top one. <laughs> I'm still, I I really do like Grokey. Grookey? Grookey. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I but don't, you're still ho- holding hope for a score, Well, buddy. I I don't like monkeys. <laughs> <laughs> and I, like, know it's you're, cu- I can appreciate the cuteness of it. Yeah, and you are a bunny. You are a cinnamon bun. Yay. Remember. Was, right, we decided that last last time, nerdy. three weeks ago, or two weeks ago. I can't remember. I don't two know. Like, we decided it whenever. We have the drawing somewhere. I yes. can appreciate its cuteness, but I still don't like monkeys. That's, that's fair. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> but. I just don't want them to turn it into, like, a wrestler thing. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Again. Oh, yeah. Isn't there a meme going around about that? Like, Okay, so <laughs> this is going to be a little bit on the risque side, and I apologize, folks. So cover your ears if you have sensitive ears. Incineroar was a cock-firing letdown that I don't want again. <laughs> A I little, before, a little risky. <laughs> because Incineroar shot mm-hmm. its attacks out of its championship belt, which happened to be at its crotch. <laughs> and you know what? I just can't have that happen again. <laughs> it was awful. I second that. <laughs> oh my word! Yeah, I hope somebody clips that on Twitch. <laughs> I just because yes. <laughs> It is a cock firing letdown. It is. <laughs> That's it, like there's no other way to put it. It's just not good. Litton like okay. Was adorable. Oh, I, I like heard Litton. okay, the first thing I heard was it's not a fighting type. And I was like, oh my gosh, yes. Not a fighting type. And then I saw it and I was like, they still ruined it. They did, they did. <laughs> they turned the cute little litten into that. I know. They oh had such gosh. an option to make it like a stealth. They could have made them all stealth. They really could have. But they didn't. They had Decidueye be stealth, which I love Decidueye. Best Decid- one. I, I like Primarina. I do, too. I really do. But I just like the water fairy. Yeah. Litten. I like fairy types. I know you do. You very I much like fairy types. Isn't that what we decided you did for your... um? Actually, that's not my favorite type. What is your favorite type? Steel. Ooh. Go around this way, hon. Were you not expecting that? I wasn't. <laughs> yeah. I my Well, my favorite Pokemon is Caesar. Oh, yeah. So you the like mega it. version because um, of its ability. Uh, which one? Uh, what's it's the, the one where it boosts bug. It, it boosts any move that has a power less than 60. Oh, Technician. Yeah. Technician's so, a really good like, one. like Bullet Punch yep, has yep. 40 power and it, it always goes first. Uh, Fury Swipes. Yep. And then it can learn uh, Roost. Yeah. Roost is okay. Like. Yeah, it doesn't lose anything from it. No. Because it's not a flying type. Right. And then, like, 
Oh, I just I just love the fact that you can like actually put bullet punch and fury swipes to use. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's true. Um I guess scissor is only bug steel, it doesn't get flying type. It had flying type when it was Scyther. Yeah. I also think it looks really cool. Oh yeah? Like the claws, the pincers. They look like trap pinch. Hmm. Yeah. But hmm. I don't know. Oh, I I was gonna say, what's your favorite? But I already know your favorite. Yeah. Uh, yes. Do you though? Yes. Huh. I'm pretty sure I do. Oh yeah. Turtwig. Yeah, I do love Turtwig. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right, right? Mm hmm. You are correct. Yay. Very much so. But yeah, no, um, yeah, I love oh. gra grass types are, grass and ice type is my favorite two types. So do you like Obama Snow? I, I like Obama Snow. I don't care for Mega Obama Snow. I think they- I've never played with Mega Obama Snow. I don't like the design. I actually like, uh, Mega Obama Snow as a Pokemon, purely, you know, stat mechanics wise. Yeah, I like it. I don't. I don't understand the design choice they made. It looks really, really odd. It's, it's not like the worst. a big hulking frost mountain. Yeah, it's not the worst by far. Far from it. Uh, but it's not a, great. What's a bad what's a bad one? Um To be honest, I don't like Mega Charizard X. No? <laughs> like I know a lot of people really like it. Because they're like, oh my gosh, they finally made Charizard a dragon type. And like, yeah, I like that they made Charizard a dragon type, but I don't like the way it looks. <laughs> I personally. Like, I like Char Mega Charizard X over Mega Charizard Y. I like Mega Charizard Y over Mega Charizard X. Yeah. I Mainly because of its ability. Because mm -hmm. it can learn Solar Beam. Yeah. And then use it in one turn. But one thing that we should be proud of is we got Lizzie. Into Pokemon cards. Yeah, yeah we yeah, did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. That had been true as a did. kid. And then I'm like, fine. <laughs> Start again. <laughs> why not? But it's fun opening them. Yeah, it is. And then you open them and you get nothing and you realize that you wasted like $3. Unless you actually get like the cards I got. Yeah, today. you got no, no. Unless you get what Stephanie gets on a regular <laughs> basis, because okay, you I won. A, you won the last time. I did win the last time, but that was at a like that never happens. <laughs> so Stephanie's first Pokemon pack that she's ever opened in a long, long, long time. You know what she gets? She gets a fifty dollar card out of it. Yay! Immediately, I gave it to you. I know because you're a sweetheart. Yay! And also, I feel like you use it more. I will actually. <laughs> <laughs> And then she proceeds to open, like, nine more cards that are, re that are really good. She's got, what, two or three Jirachis right now? Like, three. There, there's a reason we call this an end bun. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Sweet, spicy, and you just want to, like, protect. Yes. <laughs> protect the it's oh, and also, buns. I bought a lottery ticket for the first time. Mm -hmm. And you won on that, too. I won. Not, not Nothing big, but, like. I feel like you're, like, the perpetual, like, lucky rabbit's foot. <laughs> yeah. So, Stephanie has all the luck. Lizzie just opened a full art Professor Sycamore from a Steam Siege pack, which is the one card you want out of a Steam Siege pack. <laughs> but, like, and if she had done that, like, a year, uh, two years ago, she would have made 50, like, 30 to $50. What's it worth now? Like, like five. five. Oh. But that's because it's rotated out of standard. Uh. So, it's a wonderful card for me to pick up because I like collecting things. So, I can go to a store and buy it for five bucks. And then have a full art Professor Sycamore. Yay. Great. But no, I have usually terrible luck when I pick my own packs. That being said, whenever I let my wife open, like pick packs for me to open, I get amazing things. Maybe you just have bad luck. I do have bad luck. Maybe I don't have good luck. Maybe you just have bad luck. <laughs> Maybe I have that effect where I have all the bad luck, so everybody's luck around me just increases steadily. Yay! But I got really crap cards the first time I did it with you guys, and today I got some decent ones. But that's because you picked them when I wasn't near you. Fair. So, <laughs> but so she um she picked out some packs. I think she picked out like three or four packs for me. Each one of those packs had a really good card in it, including a full art Eevee and Snorlax GX, which is adorable. <gasps> oh, I got that too. I know you did. So... It was cute. So cute. Um, 
So oh, she op- I gotta find my and Switch. Then, and then um, Ultra Prism, which is like my favorite set of the new sets. Um, it, oh wait, uh, there's a new thing? What? There's a new thing? There will be in May 3rd. I'll talk about that in a moment if you'd like. Uh, yes. Um, but no, uh, Ultra Prism is a set that came out a year ago. But the, as soon as it came out, it went out of print, which was really weird. Um, so it's hard to find now is the point. Um, that being said, I managed to find some. Uh, give me one second. I got to make sure I can let somebody in. <laughs> they let themselves in. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, but I recently found some elite trainer boxes, which contain a box, like a, a physical card storage box, and eight packs in them. And uh, so I was like, honey, which one do I pick? Of course, I don't. Anyway. And she said that one. Well, I'm like, well, I've got enough money for both, so I'll pick them both. The one she picked had a secret rare item, and it had a full art trainer. The one I picked had my fourth full art Leafy on GX. Yay! <laughs> Which, like, I love Leafy on. It's my favorite evolution. But I didn't need a fourth one. I would actually have rather gotten a card that I don't have from that set because I'm trying to collect the whole set. Well, Murphy always takes his due, as you should well know by now. Oh, I do. Yes. Teddy, I don't know why, but when you walked in, I thought you were wearing a cowboy hat. Well, howdy. <laughs> uh, he he could wear one if he wanted to. <laughs> I that, was like, wait, you're wearing a new hat. Oh, no, wait. That's <laughs> that's just the sense of my presence. Uh, it just you're, fills the up sense, the room so much you think I'm wearing a cowboy hat. I don't pre- even need a cowboy hat. The sense of your hat. presence is a cowboy hat. <laughs> I can live with that. <laughs> we should get you a cowboy hat. Yeah. You don't yeah. already have one? I feel like that's something you would have had. <laughs> <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> Let's <laughs> just say I have... Ha- I do not currently own a cowboy hat. I have owned a great many cowboy hats over the years. For Halloween, if, you can be Cowboy Bebop. I don't think there is a single cowboy hat in that show. No. Really? What? But it has cowboy in the name. It's okay. You've it's got cowboy people Bebop. wearing it ponchos. Sense. They're space cowboys. Space oh. cowboys don't really need cowboy hats. They're not all that practical in zero gravity. You're not wrong. It's not. It's not for oh, practicality. No, 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 no. It's for fashion. Have you watched Space Dandy? No. Teddy? No, I haven't. I would recommend that. It's it's kind of got that same weird just what did I just watch style to it. <laughs> so I think you'd actually enjoy it. But yeah, um, Stephanie, you asked about the new set coming out. Yes. It's coming out on May third, and it's called Unbroken Bonds. All we know mm-hmm. is that there are. Um, a few team up GXs. Ooh. There's Lucario and Melmetal. And there's Oh cute. Reshiram and Charizard. Yeah. I know. I'm okay. Can I go on a rant here? Mm-hmm. Like It's your it's show. show. It's <laughs> our show, but sure. <clears throat> I would like to talk to you about how sick of Charizard I am. Now, Charizard has never been my least favorite Pokemon, nor will it be my least favorite Pokemon. Um But I am so sick of Charizard. As a collector of Venusaur cards, and I love Venusaur. Venusaur will forever be one of my favorite Pokemon because, you know, Bulbasaur is my first Pokemon ever. I started with a Bulbasaur, and I always pick Bulbasaur when that's an option. But here's the thing. I'm sick of Charizard because Charizard gets... There has been, in this Sun and Moon block, which is the current generation of Pokemon cards, like six or seven Charizard cards. There has been two Venusaur cards. And, like... Two or three Blastoise cards. But Charizard has not only a GX, it's now getting a second team up GX <laughs> and a bunch of hollows. And they're always worth like 20 times as much as any other card because it's a Charizard. I love Charizard. I'm like, guys, come on. You just want more Venusaur cards. I want more Venusaur. <laughs> Show some love to Blastoise and Venusaur, which I love Blastoise and I love Venusaur. And I like them far more than I like Charizard. I always like Squirtle. Yes, yeah, Squirtle evolves in the Blastoise, and Squirtle's adorable. Squirtle, Squirtle is a turtle. Squirtle is always my favorite. Squirtle the turtle. I don't think they heard you, but Squirtle is his favorite. My mom didn't let me have Pokemon as a kid, so. Why not? Well, that was sort of the end of My that. mom barely let me watch Pokemon. I she thought it was to too wa- violent. I wasn't allowed to watch TV, period, very much growing up, and 
Well, I never got into Pokemon, so, well, I never I'm got sorry. into Pokemon. Uh, I grew up with Pokemon. Still haven't. I did, too. Pokemon was around, like, before I was born. Pokemon so I grew was up not around Pokemon. when we were born. <laughs> <laughs> nope. There was a time before Pokemon? There was, but yeah. you weren't here for it. <laughs> and once again... It was a strange six old. years without it. <laughs> yeah. You know, all those six years of learning how to walk, talk, and poop on our own, you know, yeah. that kind of thing. I taught my cousin how to say Pokemon. Did you? Okay, yeah. that's much better than the thing I was concerned you were about to say based on Alex's <laughs> sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I also had that concern. <laughs> you know I did too? <laughs> but that begs the question. But let, let's be but real. It begs the question. Uh, the, the sentence you said was much more like you than it what was. I was yeah. concerned Well, because he was... Okay, so he kept wanting me to bring him my stuffed animals but eventually i ran out of animals so i brought him pokemon <laughs> and i was uh, like this is a pikachu <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> okay kind so of adorable too you remember how i was talking about that show kaguya sama love is war uh-huh. well there was there's a clip it's split up into kind of vignettes but they all play together and they're all chronological so they're like smaller episodes put into one bigger episode and one of them they they had confiscated a um a magazine from one of the students at the school uh the headmaster had and it was like one of those teen magazines you know stuff like that <laughs> and the thing is <laughs> chica opens it up and we all know that chica is now my favorite and chica is just adorable i i cannot stress how much chica is love <laughs> so chica opens it up and goes wow this is really cool Apparently, 34 people, 34 percent of people in Japan, presumably, have their first time when they're in high school, and and she and the and the male are going off like, oh my god, how immoral, blah 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 blah, and Kaguya, the the girl goes, what are you talking about? I had my first time like ages ago when I was a little kid, and they just look <laughs> dead eyed, shocked, like what? And then she goes on, and they go on for about five minutes she's like defending themselves and they're like whoa 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 kaguya like what's going on here and then he gets into his head like hold on hold on and he goes kaguya do you even know what first time means and she's like yeah don't make light of me thanks of course i know what it is and he's like spell it out for me well it's, it's kissing it's when you kiss and then they just chica and the, and i can't remember the guy's name i think it's something or other they just <laughs> they their draws just drop and they go oh and so chica walks over to kaguya and whispers in her ear and you catch every other word of it because of course they're doing that on purpose and then the clip ends with her just like the thing where the ghost comes out of the mouth and she's just like on the floor like passed out like, <laughs> she just learned that oh oh sorry what you said because of what she said reminded me of that <laughs> vignette <laughs> On a totally un- unrelated note, yeah, <laughs> I saw a little thing about a dog that was chasing a Google Street View camera, so it ended up in every frame of the pictures it was taking. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought that was worth sharing. It was. Um, <laughs> that is very much worth sharing. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's some town in this world where there's a dog in many of the shots. The same yes. dog. The There's same dog. also a dog in uh, the town of Fairhaven, Vermont, that is now the mayor. It's a goat, not a dog. Goat? Goat. Oh, sorry. Goat, dog, same that, thing. That's, that's equally excellent. No, Equal- it's a goat. That is so, equally excellent. You know, I learned about this ages ago. You can elect a, an animal a mayor. Yeah. However, they actually have no mayoral powers. What the deal is, is they either have somebody who is the mayor behind the scenes or the the pet's owner or caretaker is makes all of the important decisions for the animal. If you, you mean could, you don't if you, could elect, you don't label carrot A or B and offer them the carrots and make policy I mean, decisions based on the guy that I would. If you could elect that's how I would run my Because that or kind or of seems like a waste of an animal as mayor if that's not how you're making your well, decisions. It's the reason that Japan Maybe makes not the important decisions, but you should definitely make some decisions that way, like 
you know. <laughs> I don't Somebody know. Somebody said in the chat, we don't speak of Fairhaven. It's the weird part of Vermont. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but um, my point is... No, but I want to go there now. It's, is that weird? <laughs> I want to no, go to Fairhaven The now. reason that they actually put animals as mayors and stuff is actually tourism. For the same reason that Japan has cats as their station managers for the trains. So do... <gasps> Skimple Shanks! What? Sorry. I went theater nerd. Uh... T.S. Eliot wrote a series of poems and stuff that was turned into a musical. Yeah. And there was one cat called Skimbleshanks, who was the railway cat. Cool. So Japan has like that. I think it started with a stray cat who wandered into a station and all the staff fell in love. So it became the station cat, the Mm -hmm. station manager cat. But for that reason, you know, there are cats and animals that have taken up, you know, important positions to become tourism attractions attractors so yeah it's a very very smart thing to do if you want tourism to come to your town if you could elect any animal as president cat cat oh yeah cats i'd say bunny oh yeah why a bunny because i like bunnies cats would implement nap time every day i'm not allowed to comment on this for mm. you know reasons why not well i mean because what you wouldn't can I? Well, I mean, we, we kind of already have elected our first horse. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. You're n- <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's insulting to horses. Yeah. That was well, like I'll my. Well, only the front half. <laughs> that was like my my tumor finds that offensive. The other it was like <laughs> a few months ago. Yes. Anyway, you know what we haven't talked about yet? Food. Exactly. <laughs> you were picking up what I was putting down before I even sat down the I plate. made some really good carrot cake cupcakes with a cinnamon cream cheese frosting recently. <gasps> that sounds delicious. Wait, you want us to talk about food? I mean, it's part of the show at this point, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of blasphemous if you don't. It is blasphemous. We've been on tangents, and now we have to talk about food, and then continue talking nerdy. And I mean, we'll have we'll wrap this thing up. I mean, let's yeah. tangents real. are the nerdiest thing I can think of. Tangents are pretty nerdy. Talk about my the, my pot roast. But you that should you talk about it into the microphone. What are you doing? As he pulls the whole table to him. <laughs> That's just how I roll. <laughs> the table does not roll though. So. No. <laughs> I said I roll, not the table. But you were pulling the table. <laughs> We've actually had this table break before because somebody how? tried. I'll, I'm about to tell you how. <laughs> I feel like even if you give me the reason, it's not good. <laughs> it's not a good reason. It's just a reason. <laughs> so we were taking a group picture of all the staff in the station. And somebody got it in their head to try to prop themselves up between the wall and the table. Well, what ended up happening is that you heard this. <laughs> and he jumped down right quick because the table's legs had all but come off. Oh. They are now reinforced. But they are still fragile. <laughs> oh yeah, it's um, it's bad. This is our apocalypse table. Yeah, mm-hmm. talk about the, the pot roast that you really liked. It's uh, pot roast really is great. excellent. What's Lizzie makes roast? a mean pot roast. It's pot beef. Oh, well, um, the one I made was beef. Oh yeah. Oh. It's now legal in the state of Vermont. Wait, no, different kind of pot. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh come on. It's a family show. Yes. Yeah. Um, but no. Go, uh, go sit in the corner. <laughs> no, talk to the microphone. I'm, yeah. Talk into the Sorry. microphone. Teddy. No. Anyway, um, she makes a mean pot roast. Because uh, we're on the topic of How did of you food. season it? I don't know. I just put the packet in. Because <laughs> that, that's sort of the, <laughs> that's sort of how you season it is sort of a critical aspect of how it turns out. I like so, I mean, that seems like a good thing to pay attention to. I just put the seasoning packet that we got from the store, salt, pepper, into the pot, instant pot. So I didn't season the meat itself. I just put it all in together. <laughs> so well, I think he, I, I think he was. I make my pot roast. I but. think Teddy was expecting a more elaborate recipe. <laughs> there isn't one. I never follow pot recipe unless I have okay, to. Actually, pot roast actually isn't a, isn't a complex recipe at all. The reason pot roast came about is because a lot of immigrants came here, and all they brought was one pot with them. So what did they do? They cooked dinner in the pot. You know what they should have had? What? Spam. Mm. Okay, spam didn't come about until much, 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 much later. Spam. I know. 
But no, the way I make spam, my powers, spam, you would approve spam, of this spam, study. Spam, I've spam, seen people spam, dress spam, their dogs spam, up as spam, spam with bees. Okay. That's how much people like spam. That's weird. Yeah. Go That's very weird. Yeah. Well, I mean, people I mean, dress their dogs up as perfect. everything. It's true. I think it's weird. So why not spam? Okay. I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, my pot roast is pretty simple, and I'm pretty sure... Oh, Teddy's <laughs> been put into the corner. <laughs> <laughs> he, he has lost his microphone privileges. For how long? Five minutes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my pot roast recipe is pretty simple. You know, I'll, I'll season the meat. I am actually put garlic in the meat so that it infuses okay. into the meat. It's delicious. Um, I use a nice big chuck roast um, that's cut specifically for pot roasting. Then I will fill it up with uh, beef broth in the in the pot. Mm-hmm. Um, first I'll sear the meat though so that it keeps its juices in until it falls apart and then you know it's good to go. Stephanie's had my pot roast. She knows how good it is. I think what Yay. I did for this one was um, we got the chuck roast yep. as well. Uh, we sliced it first Oh. into like so non-traditional. Interesting. Uh-huh. Put that in the Instant Pot. Then yep. I cut up potatoes. Yep. Um, we put in onion, green pepper, and red pepper. That was pre-frozen. Really non-traditional. Interesting. Mm-hmm. And some carrot. Cool. And then put water. Well, the seasoning pack I got, you need to add water. And then I added just a crap ton of garlic. Sounds and some delicious. Pepper. I think there was some Tabasco and Worcestershire sauce. Interesting. And then... On the Instant Pot, put it on the meat setting for 15 minutes, and then on slow cook for an hour and a half. Mm. So, yeah, that's, see, my pot roast takes hours, so. <laughs> but, yeah, no, after I've seared it and put it in the pot, then I'll fill it up with beef broth, right? Now, um, I do go the traditional route. I've got <laughs> celery, potato, carrot, onion. That goes in there. And then, you know, that cooks and cooks and cooks. And then what you do is, uh, you know, normally you would add red wine. And the alcohol in red wine helps break apart the meat and makes it tender. See, I don't do red wine. I pour in whiskey. And it makes it just oh so tender and delicious. And it's got a smokier flavor to it because I use Jack Daniels, which is a uh, charcoal filter. So, um, I just absolutely love it. And it makes a really good pot roast. And I guarantee my wife is extremely hungry right now. <laughs> because I talked about how I'm, she doesn't want me to make it. That's what's gonna happen. But yeah, no, it's delicious. And I do it old school. I actually cook it in a pot on the stove. So I live dangerously. You know, I've actually never tried making it in an instant pot or a, or a crock pot. So what's a real Hawaiian pizza? What? Sorry, I was looking at the chat. I'm assuming real Hawaiian pizza is spam and pineapple instead of ham and pineapple. Ew, not the spam part, the pineapple part. Right. I mean, like... I pineapple just, pizza's best pizza. But I don't like pineapple. Well, well that would be would an like issue. <laughs> <laughs> I guess you're just going to not have to eat pizza then. <laughs> I see. I'm not opposed to having fruits and things on the pizza. My objection, as, as similar to hers, is I don't really care for pineapple. So. Do you I like pineapple? Only cooked pineapple. Okay. There's this uh, place called Dole Plantation... It's close to where I live. They have a pineapple ice cream thing. That's served in a pineapple? I don't know. I never got it because I don't like pineapple. Um, but it looked Uncooked pineapple looked hurts my mouth. Oh. What? Yeah, it, it does. I don't like uncooked pineapple because I prefer to digest my food rather than have my food digest me. Well, they have pineapple everything. They have, like, pineapple juice, pineapple ice cream. They have pineapple smoothies. No, I mean, pineapple's a very popular fruit these days. I don't like it. Oh, well, that's really okay. Care for it either. <laughs> so we've talked about food. We've don- gone on tangents. Let's go back to talking about nerdy things. You're the one that wanted us to talk about I food. am covering all our bases. Thank you very much. <laughs> now that I've covered all those bases and we've gone halfway through the show, time to talk back on nerdy things. So go ahead. Talk nerdy to me. Pineapple berries. What about pineapple berries? I don't know. It's nerdy and also food. I guess pineapple berries are berries that Pokemon can eat. Yes. Uh, um, okay. They're spicy. Really? Uh, oh, no, wait, they're sour. Yeah. yeah. Little, the yellow are ones are with? sour. Right. Spicy is red. Yes, I know, generally, but sometimes it's weird. Sometimes they have multiple flavors. They do. Like orange berries. Or all the flavors. All the flavor. Oh. Uh, we still need to make a nerdy thing. We still need thing. to make a lot of things. <laughs> 
Like, okay, I've been watching, sometimes Crunchyroll puts out little clips or videos of how to make things from anime, like food and stuff. Oh, we should make poffins. We could make poffins. Lizzie, will you help me make poffins? How do I make them? It's like we'll cake. It <laughs> I'll it's, try. It's more, <laughs> it's more complicated than just like cake. It's like fruit cake. Sure. You you make it with berries. Uh, I just remembered that there's a new How to Train Your Dragon movie, and I haven't seen it. Oh, yeah. I'm still mad at that series. You want me to go on another and that's Wait, a why big are you problem. mad at it? I am very mad at this series. <laughs> okay. Why? Because. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I can't say anything yet. Oh, wait, because spoilers? Yeah. Yes. Oh. Uh, well, my I'll, I'll because of what happened in the previous movie. Yes, my mom said uh, that. Nope, she... it's out of spoiler range. Cool. It was five years ago. They killed the best ten character in the entire series. Yeah, but like from what I hear about this mo- next movie, like it's sort of a closer for the series. My mom said she Is saw it? it and cried. Yeah. So like it's got an epilogue and stuff. Yeah. So like, but they don't bring back the dead. Well, yeah, <laughs> but like Circle of Life, dude. <laughs> yeah, but I'm. Still he mad. went to Valhalla. He died a Viking he death. He did, but that doesn't change the fact that they killed my favorite character and and used I'm to mad to at kill it. him. They misled me. They <laughs> made things seem great and good. Everybody was back together. Everybody was happy. And then, and then, they killed him. And they used Toothless to kill him. I know. Even worse. <laughs> imagine, how toothless, imagine how Toothless no, no. must it's feel not, about that. I don't think that. he remembered it. No, no he does. but it's, Toothless it's, knows what he did. Oh, yeah, he that's does. True. It's not his fault. No, nobody's blaming Toothless. But I'm still mad at it. Very mad at so it. So you're not going to see the final movie? No, I'll probably see it. <laughs> I won't pay to go see it, but like I'll see it eventually. Um, I the TV show much. for How to Train Your Dragon was it good? really excellent, by the way. There are a bunch of different series, and they're all worth watching. Is the dad there? Yes. Oh. It's continuity it's is anybody's movie. guess, oh. but I love it, and it's fun. Assuming it's between first and second. I'm wondering. Uh, various stages. Various oh. shows at various stages. Yeah. Yep. Actually, wait. No, I can't say it because it would be spoilers because it involves a new movie. Never mind. Yeah. Sort of immediately after the first one, sort of immediately before the second one and whatnot. Okay. Got oh, it. Got it. Got it. Mm-hmm. But anyway, my point, I'm still, I will never truly forgive that series. <laughs> I don't think I ever will. I mean, sort of like you'll never forgive a certain other series I can think of. I'm like a leaf on the wind. Yeah, no, I won't forgive. Well, what? no, I won't forgive the I'm like a leaf creator. on the wind. I won't. You're I'm wearing, repeating actually, that line is going to Did you not see the shirt I'm wearing? Oh, no, I was think I did see that, actually. <laughs> Curse you, sudden but inevitable betrayal. We're Firefly. talking about Firefly. I've never seen it. You should either. watch Firefly, it's... but do not watch Serenity. I don't Firef- know if I want to watch uh... it because people seem like super upset that it ended okay. or something. So, so I don't know if I want to watch th- it. My thoughts about Firefly is it's an amazing premise if you don't look at it too hard. I mean... <laughs> the harder you look at it, the more cringy it starts to become. Well, they didn't get enough time to... Build the world yeah, for but also just look at what it's based on, and it's sort of a Confederate apologist kind of perspective. Yes and no. I, uh, I see where you're going with it, but also yes and I I, I can see both sides of it. Oh, I yeah. th- I thoroughly enjoy it for the characters. Well, more that's than, the thing is I you know. really enjoyed it my first half dozen watch throughs of it, and yep. since then it's. I've lost. I enjoy quoting it, but my enthusiasm for watching it has waned a little bit. I, I don't know. I mean, I I will not watch Serenity. I refuse. Have you seen it? Yes. Okay. I refuse. So you have watched Serenity it. is a lot of fun. It is until even knowing that's coming, it's still kind of a lot of fun. Yeah, I know, but still. <laughs> Like, I won't rant about this one, too. Yay. But have know you, that you, I'm upset with it. Have you used up your rant? No, I just did a rant, though. Keep so I'm ranting. Give a little bit of a break. We know who's really doing the planting. What? 
Sorry, quoting Hamilton. Oh. Anyway. <laughs> but my my point That's still, nerdy, right? It's it musical is. theater. Absolutely. In yeah. various ways. Oh, I want to talk about Minecraft. Please do. You want to talk about your craft? Yes. Minecraft, your craft, everyone's craft. We have a server again. Yay! We do. It's and we actually have another person. Yeah. Do we have a butler, too? He's sort of the butler. <laughs> <laughs> He's also in chat. <laughs> so? Yeah. Oh, is no Tell one us one? about yeah. your free laborer, Stephanie. Well, <laughs> he joined the server. Yep. Tried to kill Alex. Yep. Failed. Yep. Tried to kill me. Yep. It got killed in the process. <laughs> and then he respawned, and then I killed him. Didn't you... Shoot him. You said on fire. <laughs> uh, well, he tried to kill me and didn't realize that my armor had thorns on it, so he died. And then it, he respawned, and then I killed him with a sword. And then I shot at him a few times. But he lived through that. And then I gave him potatoes. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> but he is freeloading at my mushroom house. Okay. And he's mad that um, they killed Bruce the dolphin. Who is Bruce the dolphin? I don't know. <laughs> I don't. I don't recall us having a dolphin named Bruce. Although we have Samson the donkey, and he's just yes, we do have Samson the donkey. He's in the middle of a pond. No, he's in the. Uh, he does, put does, himself does there. He, yeah. if, if you shave him, does he get weaker? No, I don't think you can. Shave I know. Him. I know you're referencing. Okay. I, I do, but no, you can't actually shave. The only things you can shave in Minecraft are snowmen and mushrooms. That's okay. awfully specific. You can shear sheep. Yeah, you can shear sheep, but yeah. I feel like sheep would have been the first thing you said. <laughs> no, no. Shearing is different than shaving. With the with the snowman, you can shave the pumpkin off of them, and then ah. they've got a derpy face under them. With mushrooms, you shave the, the mushrooms off, and they become a regular cow. Oh, yeah. Um, What did I name that puffer fish? I don't know. Um, I, I said I said to name it Paul. No. And then you said no. And then I said Paul. No. Bruce? Patrick. I named it Patrick. Patrick, Okay, yeah. so Pepperfish Patrick. Yep. Unfortunately, exploded. <laughs> what did you do to it? Okay, so you know how you set up the teleport like, back underneath the pine trees? Yeah. Well, he was there, and I spawned back, and there was a creeper there. And I didn't have my sound on, so I didn't hear it. And it exploded. <laughs> so. That's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> to the highest degree. <laughs> that sounds like my experience playing Minecraft. You should play with us, though. I would if I had a computer that I trusted enough to be able to run it. That's fair. Uh-huh. I just got a new computer, and you can borrow my old computer. Yep. When I'm here, that will be a suitable solution, but, like, I don't want to just be taking your computer. Uh, I trust you to take it, you know. <laughs> like, <laughs> and yeah. I trust Lizzie to keep an eye I, on you. I'm, when you I'm <laughs> just... <laughs> got to understand, I'm just clumsy. So uh, am I. It's just There's clumsy, a reason I don't world. have a computer capable of playing Minecraft. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if you're in the Twitch stream and you haven't given us a follow, please do. I would appreciate it. Builds up the ch channel. Is Twitch channels? Oh. We're called channel. We're new to Twitch. But give us a follow. Make sure that notifications on so that like you know when we go live, even though it's pretty pretty clear when we go live every Thursday at eight o'clock. Unless one of us is sick. Uh, Mainly cool. Alex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that's all right. Because I don't know how to work anything. That's true. Well, Lizzie and Teddy are going to leave us, unfortunately, Stephanie, because they've been up so since really early. Sad. So, I that's had, okay. I had my first day at my new job, so it's... Oh. I'm... Yeah. First she day, first new day, job. Right? Yep. Super tired. Huh. So, they're going to head out. That's totally cool. Stephanie and I are going to nerd out Lizzie about, like, bed. Pokemon bye or Minecraft. Bye. We'll listen on Twitch. Yes, you should. See, they're going to go home and listen on Twitch, as should you all. So... Have yourselves a good night, Lizzie Bye. and Teddy. Bye. Good night. So, Stephanie. Yes? Talk more about Minecraft. Okay, so we need more people to join the server because we have a shopping island with only two shops. We do. And also, Nolan, you should open a shop. Pretty much. You you should open but a shop. But also, don't build a house because I like having a servant. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. <laughs> I need help building my mushroom house. 
It's yes. taking too much stems. And then a creeper exploded on my top floor, so I had to rebuild it. Yeah, no, and I, I was there after the aftermath. Oh, you, yeah, you can confirm the damage it was... It was... Well, you see, mushroom blocks are decidedly not blast-proof. Yeah, they just turned into figure. regular mushrooms. Yeah, but you have a ton of regular mushrooms that you can use bone meal on to grow into bigger com- ones. He says he's going to open a competing store. Oh, yeah? What kind of competing store? I don't know what that means. <laughs> it means he's going to open one up that competes directly with one of our stores. Oh, yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, you need the infrastructure for what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so I have an enchanting shop. And I've got a food shop. Costco. You know what? Costco, but blocks go. So you're going to sell everything. Yes. <laughs> Wow, my typing has gotten awful. <laughs> if you want. Do you not have, like, autocorrect? No, why would I? On the To computer. prevent things like that. <laughs> well, you see, keyboards on a computer. <laughs> my computer does autocorrect. <laughs> uh, it does? Yeah. This one doesn't. Oh. <laughs> it's uh That's unfortunate. It is quite unfortunate. But yeah, anybody in the chat who plays Minecraft Oh yeah. should join the server. That they should. Yay, and fire spread is off. Yes, we turned off fire spread. Yeah, so Alex has this cool thing in his shop where he ha- he put um upside down cows. Yeah, I did. So I built a, a, a pub, a tavern. And what I did to make it look like we were getting fresh meat is I took some cows and I put them in what looks like an oven. Um, <laughs> and the thing is, no cows were harmed in the making of this restaurant. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure they were harmed in them getting to there. Shh, be quiet. <laughs> I'm only serving, you know, cooked beef. But so... There's a trick in Minecraft. If you name an animal dinner bone, D-A-N-N-E-R-B-O-N-E, it turns it upside down. But for all inte- but it still functions fine. It's alive and well. So I have three cows behind a wall of fire that um that look like they're being cooked. But they're not. They're everything is fine. They're alive. You're they're moving get, away happily. You're gonna get protesters outside your restaurant. <laughs> I might. <laughs> That's silly. I might actually just put up a bunch of signs in, <laughs> signs in front of your restaurant. I'll just take them down. Yeah. Well, you <laughs> let you left a pork chop inside of my base. It was an advertisement. I ate it. I know you did. It was raw. I don't know why you ate it. I ate. Well, I didn't get poison from it. I know, but like you should have cooked it first. Why? Why would I cook? Why would I waste coal on cooking one pork chop? Well, it was an advertisement. You were supposed to come buy the food from my restaurant. But I already have food. I know. But that's fine. <laughs> but anyway, there's also a villager named Meaty Pete. Who, I unlocked his trades. I know. He was just there for show anyway. Yeah. There's a butcher that literally just um, sits there and uh, is named Meaty Pete. <laughs> I don't know why, but the name came to me. I'm like, this is too perfect. I can't not put this in here. So, yeah, my shop sells bookshelves, uh, potions. I don't know how to make potions. So. (laughs) I can show you. Yeah, but I have the brewing stand. I found it. Yep. In an igloo. And then I have the nether wart, and I have blaze rods because there is a blaze spawner close to my nether portal. Yep, yep. And... Yeah, I just don't know how to make it. And then I have enchanted books and enchanted armor and equipment. Yeah, no, you have a really good setup. Yay, and it's made with quartz and sea lanterns. Like, she built it out of, like, the fanciest, priciest blocks. Yay! Just, you know, be like, yeah. It looks pretty. But... I did get more sea lanterns, not a significant... You know how I had, like, 22 sea lanterns and I gave you half? Yeah. So I don't have that many, but I have, like, 12. But I got a l- bunch of, like, prismarine, and I made a conduit, but I don't live near the ocean. I know. I don't know why you did that. I kind of just made it 
to make it <laughs> to say that I had one. <laughs> Because I'm, I'm doing pretty good on, like, resources. I just need more mushroom stems because they're, like, impossible. Because, uh, like, when you grow a mushroom, you mainly just get the mushroom block and not the stem. I know. You you really picked a tough block to build with. Yeah. So, but, I mean, once you get to the top. So, Nolan, if you want to help out with the mushroom stems, that would I be I mean, it. what you could do is just clear cut the mushroom island. Yeah, but that's so much work. I mean, I started, but I feel bad just leaving floating mushroom tops. Because I don't want the mushroom tops. He's building nearby the shroom base. Oh, you're online He's now. He's online now, even. Cool. <laughs> Guess oh, what? Yeah. We're not. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, did you see the, the blown up place in front of the house that has water spilling in it? That, that was where Pufferfish Patrick used to be. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to talking nerdy. It was nerdy. <laughs> but like I the make show. A grave. What? I'm going to make a grave for him. Yeah, you know what? We should build a graveyard for our lost pets. Oh, yeah, because Nolan lost a dolphin, I guess. Yep. I didn't know where he got a dolphin, but. I he... don't know either. Yeah. And, uh,. I don't know. I probably lost an animal at some point so far. <laughs> cows. The cows don't count. They weren't pets. <laughs> the cows don't count. <laughs> they weren't pets. They were food. <laughs> I am not. I'm not Bruce the shark. <laughs> cows are food, not friends. <laughs> Although if you're a dairy farmer, then they're friends, not food. Although oh, no, also, they're friends that make I food. I may or may not have spawned a cow in the middle of the ocean. Why? Because milk. <laughs> I mean, it's not a bad thing, but like, <laughs> what? Because, okay, so I was mining at an ocean monument, but I didn't feel like killing the thing. But you didn't kill the Elder Guardians? No, I didn't feel like it. <laughs> so I just kept resurfacing every time it did the spoon thing and drank milk. I mean. <laughs> so, and then I left the cow there. That poor cow probably got dead by the guardian. It wasn't that close to it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel bad so for that if cow. So you, if you see a cow in the ocean, floating in the ocean, it means that there's an ocean monument there. Yeah. And you should go explore it. Tip. <laughs> yeah. I have an ocean monument near my base that I go to, so... I went and got more sea lanterns the other day because I needed them. And so, yeah, because, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment and I'm building with, you know, packed ice and sea lanterns and glass. Oh, wait, Nolan, did you see Patrick? He's dead. No. Oh, wait, no, not Patrick. What was his name? Simon. Sheldon. Se Sheldon. Sheldon. Oh, yeah. She found a mending villager named Sheldon. Yeah. He was a zombie villager, which may or may not have died, so I may have spawned a new one. But what? <laughs> So well, you cheated? Well, it was a. I kept spawning until I got a librarian because it was a librarian zombie villager, and then I just kept it. Like, I didn't know what the trades That's were. I agree with Nolan. That's abuse. Excuse. You spawned a skeleton spawner. Yes, because you were in God knows where. Yeah, but you still did it. <laughs> I didn't actually spawn it in yet. Oh, but I you're just, going to. I may. I haven't decided yet. <laughs> But, like, there's a difference between, like, yes, I broke something in the world, and then I'm going to relocate it. Because I think it's stupid that you cannot silk touch a spawner and move it. I think that's silly. Yeah. So, I can kill him if you want. What? I can kill him. No, don't. It's <laughs> fine. But, like. If it makes you feel better, it costs 38 emeralds for his stupid mending book. But the mending book is really good. So, like. Yeah, but 38 emeralds. Mm, he made me broke. In emeralds? Yeah. So trade it with him for paper and stuff. I had 30 blocks. Okay, so trade with him. I did. Like paper? Trade I paper. did. Okay. Paper and books. I traded him. Yeah, and then you trade back. That's how you get stuff. What you need is a farmer villager and a farm. Well, whenever I need crops, I just go to the village and raid their crops. I, I know, but like. 
trading with a farmer villager gets you a lot of emeralds quick. Oh, really? Yeah. I should see if I have a farmer villager. You might. You probably do. I'm, I live next to a village. Yeah, I know you do. Let's hope it's not dead. <laughs> I don't think it is. I think I live far enough away. That's fair. But I think Nolan's building right next, next to it, so. Wait, <laughs> no, no, Nolan, you're building your own house right next to the village. I mean, that's a good place to build a... Don't mess up my village. <laughs> Ooh. Well, rip village. If you mess up my village, I will prank you. <laughs> now that, what village? Oh. The village next to my house. That doesn't bode well for your village. Wait, what? No. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh. This just became awkward. Let the pranks hole. begin. Uh, he's probably messing with you. Yeah, I know. Maybe. I'm probably still going to pull a teeny little prank. <laughs> okay. Just to welcome him. Okay. So look forward to that, Nolan. Uh. Anyway, <laughs> is there anything else nerdy you wanted to talk about, Stephanie? Mm. Any other games you've been playing, anime you've been watching? Slime Rancher. It came out with a new update. Oh, what did they add to it? Uh, there's this character named Victor Humphreys. Okay. So they made it. Okay, so they added a uh, update where if you do a certain amount of trades with uh, the people, you can unlock their base and do missions for them there cool so they added victor humphreys's one did they add more slimes no that's too bad yeah but i'm looking forward to apparently his is like underwater that's so really cool i'm Can you in build underwater no but whoa you know it's still interesting like um i want to see what his mission is like, for one of them, you have to... It's like a racing thing. And for the other one, it's like a gathering thing. So I'm interested to see what this one is. Yeah, for sure. I think it's kind of dumb that to, to like, have the game with the update, you have to start a new game. So I can't have my slimes. Oh, that is too bad. Yeah, but also once you reach a certain point... It might as well just start over anyway, right? Yeah, because it's pretty. The farm is pretty much self-sustaining at that point. I feel that. I mean, it's like with the mi with the Minecraft world. And Once you've done everything, they like have like stocks in the, or they have like um, raising and falling prices in the game. Oh yeah. But it doesn't matter. It's so insignificant. <laughs> 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 like it only raises and falls by a few like dollars. <laughs> <laughs> so. I don't really pay attention to it. Like, if you put in too many, it'll lower the price by, like, really? two. Oh. Huh. Yeah, and <laughs> I just don't pay attention to it. Huh. Weird. What about you? Any new games? Uh, I, Only the ones that I've been talking about. It's called, uh, there's uh, that platformer RPG that I've been talking about called uh, Dragon Marked for Death. Uh. It's pretty fun. I haven't played... Too, too much of it. I haven't been really available to. Mm. But I enjoy it. It's very hard game. It's meant to be multiplayer, as I think I mentioned last time we talked about it. Yeah. Um, And I've also been playing Pokemon Let's Go, of Yay. course. I should find my Switch. Yeah, you should. But it's back home. Yeah. And I can't look for it. I there. am the league champion now, though. I uh, did my duty as a Pokemon master and became champion, and that's cool. Yay. So now I'm just kind of... Going, what do I do next? Oh, wait. Can I bring up a mobile game? Well, yeah. I was about to bring that up, too. Okay. So, wait. Let so me... So, you go first. I need to make sure I pronounce it right. Okay. Um, Neko Atsumi. Neko Atsume? Yeah. So, it's this game where you basically put food in your yard and cats come and you, like, catalog them and stuff. Do, they, do you ever get to keep any of them? No, but they, they visit, like... like it's the same cats. Oh, okay. Oh. Well, why don't you get to own your own cat? Because freedom. <laughs> I don't know. I don't like this idea of not being able to own a cat. Well, you can take pictures of them. Yeah, but that's not having a cat to snuggle at night. Well, they do have names. You poor character. What? <laughs> they don't get to snuggle a cat at night. You don't have a body to snuggle them with. <laughs> that's sad. That's... <laughs> 
That's so sad. But it's cute because you have this little cat book where you can click on the different cats and it gives you like the personality and like the pelt color. So like solid white, solid black, gray, Turkish calico, orange and white tabby like that. Uh So it gives personality, power level for some reason. I don't know what that means because you can't do anything with them. Yeah. And then the amount of times they visited you and you have an album with pictures of that particular cat. Do they get like levels up if they come more often? N- uh, no, they just have a set power level, <laughs> and I don't know what it's for. <laughs> I'm sure there's like a tutorial somewhere about it. Nope. Did you check online? They uh, g- the game gives you the tutorial. But like, if you check online, if you don't understand something, I'm sure somebody explains it better. Uh, I'll check right now. Games can be uh, right now, really. Yes, I will. Okay. You can talk about your game. I will. Well, it's the same game I've always been playing for a while. You know, is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon? Memoria Freeze. Um, it's just they came out with a new update. Actually, they've come out with a few new updates since I've talked about it last. But um, first, the first update they had was the story about how Bell met Hestia. So that was a pretty nice little story. Um, but the one right now, I haven't started it yet, but I've been really wanting to because it came out, I think, just last night. Is about um, R- Riveria, the green-haired mage from Loki Familia, and uh, she's going to a sacred village of some sort. And I haven't started yet, so I don't know about it. But it's an elf-themed uh, gotcha pull, so um, I'm looking forward to playing it. Oh, okay. The power level is um, so. If a lower level cat is in a space. So there's, like, a set of spaces that you can put, like, toys in. So, for example, in one space, there might be, like, a rubber ball. So uh-huh. if a cat if a cat with, like, power level four was playing with the rubber ball mm-hmm. and a cat with power level six wanted to play with the ball, then it would kick the other one out. Oh. <laughs> so there's, like, the alpha kitties. Yes. Cool. And there is this one cat called Tubbs, yeah, who has the highest power level, I think. And he, he comes and he will eat all of your food. Oh no! And he will sit there next to the empty bowl and eventually leave and leave you a big reward. But so he's a good <laughs> thing. Yeah, it depends if you have expensive food out. <laughs> oh. So he'll come and eat any kind of food, like all of it. So if you have like the super expensive stuff, do you get a larger reward for it? No. Oh. But here I'm gonna show you a picture of tubs. Okay. Meanwhile, after you before after you show me that, yeah, that's a big that's a fat cat. That that really is a fat fat cat. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Um, Nolan in the chat on Twitch asked, "Who do I main in Smash, or who do we main in Smash?" Brothers? I've never played it. Actually, I, I have. You played it once with me. I, d- I didn't know what I was doing. I know. He beat me. I, I beat you, yes, because you had no idea what you were doing. The plant looked cool. The piranha plant? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Um, Who do I mean in Smash? That's I don't mean any particular person in the Smash Brothers. For the Switch, I'm assuming. Um, I like playing with a lot of the different characters. Um, I like playing with pretty much every single Fire Emblem character. Uh, Pokemon Trainer's fun. I'm not very good at it. <laughs> the Piranha Plant is also pretty good. Um, but I've only used it a couple times. Uh, but it, I like playing as Link, too, on occasion. Link. So. Uh, and Zero Suit Samus. I love playing as Zero Suit Samus. So, uh, those are my answers. It's not a very good one, but, um, yeah. Oh, you want to know a game I want to learn how to play? What? Mario Kart. You know, Mario Kart is one of those games that's super easy to play. Super easy to learn. Okay, I played it with my friends in high school, but they wouldn't tell me how to drift. Oh. Because I think they wanted to win. But you still beat them, didn't you? I beat one of them. <laughs> it was Okay, I came in second out of three people, and I didn't know how to drift. That's so, pretty good. Yeah, I guess. But like, I want to I wanna play with somebody and know how to drift. Sweet. So I will absolutely teach you. Yay. I actually have the game like here with me. Not like in the studio, but you know what I mean. Yes. But like 
It looks really fun. It looks kind of dizzying, like the Rainbow Road. Yep, yep. I don't know if I could play that because too much happening, <laughs> but it looks fun. Oh, yeah? It looks like it'd be more fun with more people, though. Uh, Yes, it is. I give up. Okay. What, what are you doing? I've been trying to type the word name for like five tries, and I failed every single one of them. <laughs> it's that kind of night, folks. It just is. <laughs> and still one more day of class. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, Stephanie. <laughs> Yes. Tell me something new. Um, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I told enough. you. I told you everything new. Oh, I got my new phone. Oh yes. Because my old phone um, broke really badly because you dropped it too much. Yeah. I'm clumsy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I got a new phone and I put um, Corgi stickers on it, and everybody's telling me I need to get a case. Yes, yes, you should have a case. Because I've times. already almost dropped it three times. I mean, yeah, you should always have a case on your phone. Yeah. But I have stickers on it. That is true. Stickers are pretty great. Oh, boy. Yeah, I just discovered something. What? Oh, nothing. They, uh,. Who's the McCall? The, the title of the stream changed itself. Did it? Yeah. What is it supposed to be? I don't know. I forget. Let's come up with the name for the stream now. Okay. It was something that had like a pun of Twitch in it, right? Yeah. Um. Twitching with excitement? Uh, I think that was it. Oh, you know why? It's because I didn't. Yeah. I'm Sally. Uh, have you ever played Pathfinder or, or D&D? Or anything uh, like that, Stephanie? I have. I played with my friends in high school. I was always the one that put... I was always the charismatic, smart one because they all lacked charisma because they wanted to punch things. Ah, I see. So they would put all their stats into everything but charisma. So they were... Uh not good at the game? Meatheads. <laughs> well, they played as meatheads. Oh, okay. So, I, I mean, I can understand that wanting to, like, be a beat up kind of person. Yeah, so there were four meatheads and me. <laughs> that never goes particularly well. We would usually, um, our, our um, dungeon master got frustrated because the first thing we did when we started, he tried to get us on this quest, yeah. and we were like, we're going to dig a hole. Okay. Like, right here. We're just going to start digging a hole. Okay. We were on a dragon. You were on a dragon. We were on a giant dragon that served as the world. And you dug a hole. We wanted to, yes. And how did that go? Uh, We couldn't break the scales. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> well, he said we needed something stronger. So we went into the town and then... They were all like, what are you, crazy? Well, we didn't tell them what we needed the shovels and stuff for. Ah. But he managed to get us on a quest that was not digging a hole. That's good. That's good. I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to dig through a dragon. I don't know. That wasn't my idea. I, I figured it wasn't. <laughs> if you were playing the smart character. Yeah, I was um, usually the one that was the healer Ah. because none of them wanted to be the healer. So like the cleric or something like that? Yeah. Cool. I played as he, uh, I played as, it wasn't like traditional d and it was a little more. Freeform? Yeah, I was a little dragon. That's so cool. I was like a little cat dragon thing. That's pretty sweet. Yay. So you were a cat dragon living on a big dragon. Yes. Cool. And one of the people in the party 
um, decided to drink a potion. Cause, okay, so we got on this quest where at the end of it, we each got a mysterious potion. Like, we don't know what it is. Cool. It could be good or bad. We don't know. So you didn't try to identify it with magic and stuff? We couldn't. Oh. Um, Wait, why not? Um, we all failed our thing. Ah. Actually, I think one person... One person succeeded and realized that his potion was very harmful. <laughs> um, so he didn't drink it. Um, one person drank it and they turned into a little girl. Okay. Permanently? Um, <laughs> I think it depended on the temperature or weird. something. <laughs> I don't remember what it was. It had like this weird requirement, but they were mostly a little girl. Uh-huh. Yeah. Sure. What so else anyway, we... that was my experience. What's yours? <laughs> what's your experience with it? No, no, no! You can't stop there. <laughs> what? What do the other potions do? Um, I don't remember. Oh. That's I graduated. I graduated before we found out. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> <laughs> well, I tell my adventures in Pathfinder all the time. And uh, I don't have anything really too recent. Uh, no, wait. Yes, I do. <laughs> okay, so this is a bit of a build-up. So, we were in a an armory. Except this wasn't just your normal, like, arms and armor. This was a siege weapon armory. And what comes at us but a flesh colossus. A what? Which uh, it's a flesh colossus. It's basically a giant thing made out of flesh Ew. that's immune to magic. Ew. So all the magic was useless. Poke it with a sick. Mm, well, the thing is, it has a huge reach, and if you get hit by it, it can pin you down. Oh. So Throw a stick at it. I'm getting to what we did. Oh. So we started working on it the best we could, um, trying the very, very best to deal damage. I think we found a way to do it. Um. Through uh, ranged attacks and whatnot. Well, my character was a melee is a melee fighter and a magic user, uh, a war priest, so part cleric, part fighter. And I wasn't having any of it because, frankly, if I got too close, I'd get stomped on and squished, uh -huh. and I couldn't use magic on it. Right? Yeah. So what did I do? Threw well, a stick? what? Through a stick. Kind of. Really? Yes. I didn't think that was gonna. I thought you were gonna be like, no. Stephanie, <laughs> I'm not a moron. But here's the thing. My <laughs> character, super high wisdom. Like, knows pretty much is omniscient. That's what it says if you have a high wisdom like that. That you're basically omniscient. You should know things. But my character doesn't care. <laughs> my character is actually kind of an alcoholic. Very oh. functioning, but alcoholic. Don't ask why. But... Uh, side note, he worships the god of drinking and beer and freedom. So, yeah. But he also has, um, for a dwarf, he is extremely fast. He only gets faster if he really wants to. Like, I, I can use a power and get faster. And because he's a dwarf, he is not encumbered by weight. So he moves his speed no matter what. This matters because he found a battering ram. Oh. Uh. So what did he do? Uh, I had joked before we had started the session, too, like, you know, I wonder how fast I could go if, you know, I was doing something. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if I took a battering ram and launched it at somebody because I'd be going, you know, stupidly fast? Oh, uh, wait. What? I made a mistake. What did you do? I may or may not have accidentally killed Nolan. How? I just wanted to. I just wanted. What are to, you doing? Playing instead of listening to my story. I'm listening, but I just wanted. I just wanted him to flow away with the water, but he drowned. <laughs> You're ruining the buildup. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get off. <laughs> sorry. I no. will shut down the server. Sorry, so help no. me. <laughs> so help me, I will walk over to the computer and shut down the server. <laughs> anyway, so I go over. And all you hear is me giggling and you hear, and I activate my ability and I'm pushing, pushing and pushing, pushing this, this thing. And I use my thing and I start running with it and it takes a bit of a buildup, but I'm running and running and running and running and running. Well, I get it up to such a speed 
And then I push it directly into the Flesh Colossus. It did 36 D6 damage. Is that a lot? That's more than a level 20 fireball. Is that a lot? That's a whole lot. Ooh. And you know why? Because what? it was going like 200 and something miles an hour. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite that fast. It was going like 70 something kilometers a second <laughs> when it hit. I'd have to do the math again, but it was it was enough force that would obliterate anything standing in front of it. But because this Flesh Colossus was, well, colossal and so huge, it just kind of squashed like a Ugh. good chunk of it and kind of started sticking out the other side. So, Yo. yes, I threw a stick at it, but it was a very big stick going very, very fast. <laughs> and boy, was it amazing. Because, like, the DM knew what I was doing because he had been there for the discussion with, oh, I wonder if I could blah, 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 blah. But nobody else knew. So I said, I'm doing the thing the thing we talked about. And he goes, okay, it'll take four rounds. I'm like, that's fine with me. <laughs> I think that beats my story. <laughs> well, you see, my character has done so many ridiculous things, it's hard to keep track of. Uh, I only played for a little bit. Yeah, well, I would love to get you into another game because it's just such a good experience. Yeah. If you have the right GM and, and, have a, and uh, are doing the right things. It really is a fun experience. It sounds so, fun. It it is, but you know, it has all the conditions have to be right, kind of. I want to play as a cat dragon. I I don't know if that exists in oh. Pathfinder D, but I'm sure we could make one. Yay! There are rules to create races, so we could probably figure it out. Yay! Although dragons are really really expensive. What do you mean? Uh, there's some there's a, a feature called race points. Oh. And, like, a human is 10 race points. What do race points do? It's just for creating a race. It's how balanced it is. Oh. So, like, a dragon would be way high on it. It would be but kind it's of a, unbalanced. it's a tiny dragon. I know. But dragons have inherent abilities with them that make them more broken than you, oh. than you know. Like, they have a bunch of immunities. What they if I'm have- half dragon, half cat? We could work something out. <laughs> I'm sure. But yeah, uh, I'm sure we could. I I can work with you and try to create a race for that. Yay! Uh, I feel bad about killing Nolan. I didn't mean to kill him. I I know. <laughs> but you know, you're also playing a game when we're on talking. I nerdy. only I only logged on to mess with him a little bit. I know, but we're still on talking nerdy. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not as sorry as you are, Nolan. Yeah, you I'll get. I'll give him something to make up for it. I don't know what he was doing. He was underground ah. in a cave or something. Maybe he was mining. I thought he was on. I thought he was online. I. But I think he was AFK. Oh. Uh, and hey. I. I didn't know that. <laughs> well, he hasn't responded in the chat yet. I didn't know that at the time, and it's I a good put, thing. It's a good thing we have keep inventory on for yeah. you. Yeah. <laughs> We have a rule on in, on the server that if you die, you keep your items in your inventory because Stephanie dies a lot. I die a lot. And also, Stephanie likes to go in a single direction as far as she can and get lost and then cannot find her way home. It's called a death hike. Yeah, she calls it a death hike. And uh, at the end of it, she just kills herself to get back. Of course. Because I can't remember where it is. Right. Of course, there was the couple times that you've lost your house. Yeah. Because you slept in a different bed. Uh, no. Okay, that only happened once. Yeah. And the other time it was because I knocked all the blocks out from under my bed. Yep. And, yeah. But I'm bad with directions. Like, in real life and in video games. I I know. I know you are. <laughs> Trust me. <laughs> like, it's to the point, I have a screenshot of the coordinates of her house. Just to get her back to her house. Yay. Because I don't know where my screenshots go. I can't find it. Like, yep. Alex explained it to me, but I still can't find it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Someday. Someday you'll learn. <laughs> yeah, like, I would make the journey back to my house. I really would. I know. But... 
You could also do the, the, the torch trick. Where you put up two blocks and put a torch, and then you follow the torches home. I somehow still get lost. That doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I tried that. Yeah, yeah. But I know where the nether fortress is. That's good. And you did the torch trick, right? For parts of it. Close enough to get you home. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, I'm not good at directions. That's okay. I'm good at directions in Slime Rancher. Yeah, that's odd. You are good at directions in Slime Rancher. <laughs> you know exactly where it is. Because there's landmarks. There's actual things. It's not like just like, oh, turn left at the mountain. It's like there's actual like... um Ways to go. Yeah, because there's like unchanging... And the map isn't like... Oh, it's kind of big. But there's like actual unchanging things that can be landmarks. And there is a map, but I don't know how to read it. That doesn't surprise me. I got a D in geography. <laughs> that is also not surprising from what you've been telling <laughs> me. <laughs> but also, it's partly because we had this test where you had to fill in all 50 states. And I always missed one. And it was a different one each time. Yep. Mm -hmm. So I never got 100. That's too bad. And also, I failed the notebook check because my notebook was a mess. That's not fair. At least you had everything in there, right? Um, right? Well, stuff <laughs> fell out. I um, So we used glue yeah, to yeah. put it in our thing. Sure. But You didn't glue it right? I glued it right. But also, we had lockers, and I would stuff my bag in my locker and stuff things in my bag. And then pages would rip. And then oh. I would lose the pages yeah i got a d yeah yeah i understand i really really do being organized can be a challenge i've had that challenge before and i will continue to have that challenge i'm sure it yeah comes with the territory you know what i'm saying it runs in my family. It does. <laughs> <laughs> like my mom, she's not as bad as me. But it's still just But she also doesn't have ADHD. Yeah. But I've seen her desk at work. Oh my. Yeah, she works at an air traffic control tower and her desk is just full of stacks of paper. Does she ever like clean it off? Uh, I don't know. Well, presumably. It's hard to get on base now. Well, I'm sure. They, they made this rule security. that you can't bring your kids anymore because someone let their kid talk to an airplane. Oh. As it was flying. Well, that's not okay. I mean, I don't see the harm in it. But, yeah, I guess they're a little bit touchy about that kind of so, thing. So, yeah. Well, they all, well, actually, they're looking for a new, they're, they're like looking for the new batch of workers because everybody's retiring. <laughs> Well, then maybe so they the should let people bring their kids. The next batch needs to come in. Actually, no. The reason I don't want to be an air, air traffic controller is because my mom brought me. Oh, yeah. It looks super complicated, and she always complains about work. Well, not always, but it sounds hard. Mm. But the tower is nice. <laughs> no, I'm sure it they is. They actually have a lot of interest. Like, they have a workout room, and there's, like, a TV room, and, like... A gaming room, and they have this really nice cafeteria. Mm. Uh huh. Uh huh. But it's still one of the most stressful jobs in the world. I would imagine because you have to like make sure planes don't hit each other and and stuff. Well, my mom does training. Once you turn fifty, you can't talk to planes anymore. That's a weird rule. Well, it's sort of because like hearing and re and stuff like that, I guess. But like once you turn fifty, you're you're you either have to quit or get reassigned to a different section. I wonder why fifty. Why arbitrarily fifty? Because they don't want to risk it, I guess. Risk I don't know what people not hearing or something. Well, they they should just do hearing tests rather than like just make you quit. I don't know. Unless they're paying you like a pension or something, like that seems a little harsh. But I've been in the room where they like have the. GPS of all the planes and stuff. Yeah. 
It's really dark and it smells like Fig Newtons. I don't know if that's true for all air traffic control towers, but it is for the one in Oahu. That is very odd. Maybe somebody eats a lot of Fig Newtons there. They have snack tables. In the in the room? Yeah. Cool. Because I guess people don't... Like, once you're there, you can't leave, you know? Yeah, I mean, you can go to the bathroom, I assume. I don't know. I think it would be cruel if you couldn't use the restroom. I mean, they don't let you use the restroom in school yeah, during class. Sure they do. Not in my school. That's weird. Oh. That's cruel. Oh. Well, in elementary school, you couldn't. That's stupid. Oh. Mm-hmm. It was a very strict school. <laughs> yeah. That is very, very strict. Mm-hmm. Huh. Well, at least you know what you don't want to do in life. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'd be cool to be a video game writer. Yeah. Like write the dialogue in video games. Yeah. I feel like that's overlooked a lot in video games. Like somebody actually has to write out the story and stuff. What yeah. do you think? Huh? What do you think? About what? Oh my God. <laughs> I was typing. <laughs> I can do one thing at a time and typing or listening to a conversation. Okay, it's not just me though. Like you can only process one language event going on at the same time. Why does it say message deleted? Um, Because he posted a link. Oh. And link protection is on, so that. Oh yeah, Nolan, I'm sorry I killed you. <laughs> uh, put it in the Discord. By the way, if you want to join our Discord, I I don't remember what it is. Give me a second. I'll post a link. I I'll think po- I, ca- I. Oh wait, I can't. Yeah, I'll post the link. Oh, he posted a really funny one. Uh, yeah, I'll post the. Uh, what is it? Is it? I posted it in my Discord thing, and my friend responded, isn't that the talk nerdy to me guy? Oh. Uh, let's see. Why can't I? How do I change the link? I don't know. I don't either. This is upsetting. <laughs> well... Uh, Technical issues. We're still getting used to Twitch. Message me, whisper me on, t- on Twitch for an invite. Well, no, it's not Twitch's fault. This is actually Discord's fault. Oh, because I'm not on my computer. Because my computer's over there running the stream. Oh. Um, if I was over there, then I could post the the, tw- the link. Oh. Uh, yeah. Oopsies. But yeah. You know, I can just copy his uh, thing. Oh, wait. But what I was saying is, I think, re- like, yeah, writing. I will post the link that he posted. <laughs> because I can post the link. It's my channel. Okay. So I was saying, I think the writing in video games is often overlooked. Like, somebody actually has to write out the storyline. Oh, yeah. So that's what I want to do. I want to be a, I want to be a video so, game writer. Actually, one of my classmates for their final project for the school. Mm-hmm is talking about the narr- building narrative through video games and how video games build narratives and stuff. Yeah. You should talk to her because she's done a lot of really good research. Yes. And I think you'd be a really good screen uh, writer for video games. Yay. Mm-hmm. You should tell her to play To the Moon. I I will, in fact, do that so that she knows to play it. Yeah. Because that does a really good job of, like, telling the story it's so the story is so good oh my gosh i always say if it were a book it would be one of the best books i ever read because like they okay so i'm pretty sure it's been five years so i'm not gonna say how it ends but the whole point is that there's this company that goes into the memories of uh Uh, people who are dying people who are dying and fulfill their dying wish by altering their memory so that they think that they've done it. Which, I mean, if you're dying, I think that's fine. So, well, yeah, the person has to, like, sign a contract and stuff. Oh, yeah, I'm sure that it's, you know, it makes them feel better. Yeah, but, so, you know what's going to happen to the guy. 
But yeah. then you go in his memories and you're going backwards through his memories to his childhood, like it's, from his old self to the child. And it's like you're learning more and more and you're getting invested in the story. And you you know what's going to happen to the guy. Like this end of the game is he dies. Yeah. So like it's not really a spoiler. That's the premise. Yeah. But it's still, I, I imagine it's kind of heartbreaking. Yeah. Because you built a relationship with this person and only for them to pass on at the end. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it's such a really cool concept. It's it's bittersweet is what it is. Yeah. I really like that they told the story that way. Instead of like going through the memories and then finding out. Yeah, because you're like starting backwards. Yeah, I think that makes sense. And then, should I tell you what happens? Sure. Okay, so they realize... Well, no, no, wait, I don't think we should. Okay. It's spoilers. We don't want to spoil the game for the yeah, nice folks at I, home. I ha- if, you like story- if you like story games, I very much recommend playing To the Moon. It's on Steam. It's such a good game. It's one of my favorite games. Yeah, you you talk about it a lot. Yes, it's so good. Yeah, someday I'll have the time to play it. It's not for everyone. No, I'm sure. It's point and click. The graphics are... I mean, it's pretty, but it's very pixely. Well, yeah, it's in that pixel style. Yeah, and... There's you don't really do much. You solve like a puzzle here and there, but it's, yeah, it's more of a story-driven game. Yeah, which is totally fine. All right, Stephanie, it's mm-hmm. about that time. Aw, what is your final nerdy thought? I'm sorry, I killed you, no. <laughs> okay, that's your very sorry thought. What's your very nerdy thought? Well, it was in Minecraft. That's true. <laughs> He's probably already retaliated against you. <laughs> Let's be real. Yeah. Anyway, thank you all so much for tuning into this episode of Talking Nerdy. We hope you enjoyed. Uh, next week, we'll have another episode. But the week after, we'll be on break. So uh, we're not going to be here. You can show up. But um, yeah, we won't, we, won't, we won't be here. But, you know, we all deserve a break, even though I just had one. Yeah. Whatever. Thank you all so much for watching us on BCTV on Twitch, because they actually watch us this time. Yay! And thank you all for listening on WLMC Landmark College Radio out of Putney, Vermont. Uh, this has been Alex and Stephanie, and uh, you were just talked nerdy to. Woo. We'll see you all next time, and uh, enjoy your evening, afternoon, whatever time of day you're watching this, because I don't know. I'm not, I'm, I don't have that kind of information. But anyway, have a wonderful night, folks. See you next time.